Okay, now here's a website I really think is, is just terrific. I mean, it's, it's brilliant in my mind. It's for anybody who has something to say to the world and wondering how to get it out there and, and doesn't know anybody who, who sets up tours and gigs, you know, whether you're a musician or a magician even, or, or maybe like they said they even work with somebody who plays bagpipes or, or you have a, uh, something you want to share with people like me. I mean, I want to tell people about how to get money from the government and things like that. Or, or, or you want to show flower arranging. You want to teach people how to do that. So where is an audience for that? You know, how do you find an audience for that? Do you, do you go and find some fat cat in New York who's a, an agent, a talent agent, who's going to set up a tour for you and you know, make a million dollars, my boy? You know? No, you're probably not that big of a name to do that. You know? And even if you are a small name or whatever, these, these big companies that do that, they tell you where to go. And they're not really, they don't really know. The, even the people who set up these big tours or small tours or, or get you speaking engagements anywhere, they don't even know where to go. You know? But this is a website that guarantees you where to go. It costs you nothing. You know, so if you're a band, what cities I could go to? You go on this website and set it up and you find you get people who will pay ahead of time before you get there to the city. So then you know what city to go to. You already have 300 tickets or whatever it is. Now with those tickets in your hand, then you can go to find a venue. So you don't have to buy a venue first. You don't have to go on, hey, what cities are the best city for me to go to, you know, uh, to make a speech in or whatever. You find out ahead of time exactly where to go. Who's going to show up? How many people? And you have those tickets ahead. Now you can negotiate. You don't have to lose any money doing anything, you know, and find out ahead of time. It's brilliant in my mind. You know, uh, I'm going to even use it, you know, because I'm not sure. I love talking and things. I'm not sure where to go, where's the best. This is a way to find out, you know, and, and it costs you nothing because only till you make a sale, you know, do they take a little piece of the action. So, you know, it, it, it's just wonderful. So if you have some kind of talent you want to share with the world or an idea or a message or whatever it is, you got to find out about this. It really uses the power, the power of crowdfunding and crowdsourcing and, and, and social media and everything that doesn't cost you. You don't have to put ads in newspapers. You don't have to you know, deal with you know, fat cat uh, money grabbing middlemen yeah, and things like that. And you have, so even if you do want to deal with some middlemen, you bring tickets, you bring power to the table. That's what this is about, bringing power, you know, and having your own power. And that's what the internet does for people. It's called Gig Funder. You know, a nice young man who started this thing. And, and so watch him and learn how to take advantage of the power and get the power back in yourself so you could go out there and change the world your way. What? Well, Matt Pearson, now I thought you'd be in rock and roll yourself, and this is as close as you could get, right? <laughs> with, with Gig <laughs> Funder. Who really, I mean, if you have a band, right, in this country, you go to Gig Funder and use your audience to tell you where your next tour is going to be, right? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're empowering the fans to, get, to take you anywhere in the country. Wow. So now, you know, if I'm a band, I don't have to rely on somebody who thinks they're so smart and what cities I should play. I, go, I, I learn how to go to the audience. Hey, what cities should I go? The audience puts up the money, and I got the money before I even show up. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, the, there's so many expenses that go into touring. I mean, there's gas, maybe a car, van rental, bus rental. Um, Hookers. I mean, and then you have to... You negotiate a split with the venues and prove yeah. you can have prove you have an audience. And Gig Funder makes it easy to you know get your fans together and and recruit oh. new fans to bring you out to to their to your own cities. So own cities. from a fan point, then I could say, hey, I, I want your band to come to Pittsburgh. You've never been here, and, and so if enough people in Pittsburgh get it, then you got money in the hand. And then when you got money in the hand as a band, you could go to a venue and get a better deal, right? Exactly. Because you exactly. got tickets already. Do you want these tickets? <laughs> yeah, and if you're listening right now and um, you have a band that you would desperately love to see in your city, there's a request feature on our site ah. where we'll let you know when the band signs up if you request them. I see. So as a fan, I mean, I'm not a band yet, but I'm a fan, so I could sign up on your site and find out about when bands or similar bands or whoever are coming to. But also, I mean, it seems like what you're doing, too, is if I'm... 
have any kind of performance or educational art or, you know, uh, uh, an executive seminar, you know, to, how to make money in real estate or, or even me, you know, how to get free money from the government. I could come exactly. to your site and use it to find out what cities I should go to and get tickets ahead of time. huh? That's exactly right. I mean, we've had we've had people, everyone from rappers and dubstep artists and indie rock bands to singer songwriters, magicians. We just launched a bagpipers a tour. Bagpipes. Um, and, um, and we have, we've had comedians. We've had all all types of live performances wow. on our site. Well, that makes. I mean, it's, it's so logical to do. It's risk free because if nothing happens, nothing happens. Yeah, yeah. no one gets charged anything if. You only you only pay a fee to gig funder if the show actually gets funded. Funny. If it's not funded, no one loses mm-hmm. anything. Fans don't get charged. You don't get charged. No one gets charged. So I mean, if I'm thinking, oh, I want to go to Milwaukee, and then I go, I'll put ads in the Milwaukee Journal, and nobody shows up, and <laughs> I'm out the ads and the venue down payment or whatever the hell it is, right? Exactly. And this way, first, I get all the tickets in my hand before I decide to go there. Wow, exactly. there's not enough tickets. I don't go, and I know for sure. Man, you took the risk out of touring. How do you do it? Take the risk out of touring. <laughs> but actually, not the touring, but out of setting up a tour and deciding. So you took the risk out of decision making. That that was the whole goal. We yeah. we wanted to empower the artists to go and like find their fans yeah. all over the country. We we want to help artists, you know, connect with their fans. We want to like help establish the the fan and artist relationship ah. and take out the middleman in the process. Ah, and that's I what see. Gig Funder is doing. And well, you that, can also get more yeah. money from your fans. I mean, if you're right now, the average pledge on Gig Funder is $57 Ooh. for a show that the average tickets are 10 to $15. No kidding. Because, so you're getting a, yeah. a, a, an average ticket price of three times the average show price. Huh? <laughs> you, you have to give more for it. So maybe, you know, you, you still have a $15 option to buy just a ticket. Oh, but I see. then there's, you know, for 50 bucks, then you get to choose one of the songs of our encore. For oh, $100, then, I you know, see. you'll come up on stage and oh, play tambourine or great. something like that. Listen, yeah, yeah, people are getting really creative. It's really cool. <laughs> now I'm thinking that, hey, how about because I, uh, I like educating people. So how about if I, I, I went on the site and used my crowd or the crowd to say, hey, I'm going to give a free talk at the library, and but I'm going to sell tickets and the money's going to go to like friends of the library, you know, or something you like that. You could do that. See? And, and yeah. so it, it's a fundraiser, and but it's me as a live performance. I'm deciding where this live performance should be because... <laughs> the crowd will tell me <laughs> it's up to you yeah and then you also handle the money for raising the money for the library and you write the library check instead of me exactly oh, that's exactly right now that makes fun stuff to so anybody a teacher a science guy or whatever <laughs> i call my friend bill nye the science guy he should go around and talk to he's not actually my, my friend everybody t- calls me bill nye that's <laughs> <laughs> But so Bill, many. Bill and I would be perfect for it. People would love to see him yeah. talk. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, that's why anybody, I mean, this is a wonderful thing, not only for bands, because it, it just you. eliminates, you know, the decision and the uncertainty. And that's why gatekeepers become so important because they think, everybody thinks they know for certain, but they don't know. They're guessing, you know. So, they don't know. <laughs> you know better than them, but you're not sure of it. Your That's fans it. know. Your fans know exactly. better than them. Yeah, see? Your fans know where you should be going. Yeah, ask them. Don't ask some fat cat with a cigar. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Connect with the people that already love you. Don't force it on other people. Yeah, right. <laughs> Your ex-wife doesn't want you back. <laughs> Stay away. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, this is a wonderful gig. Any Anything. Gig funder. So any kind of gig, you're going to be an artist, you're going to be a... Uh, you know, uh, get rich quick scheme guy or, or anything, you go to Gig Funder and re- find out really where you should be performing. Uh, get all the money in ahead of time, no risk. Man, you're going to put all the talent agents out of business. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Matthew. Take care. Gigfunder.com. All right, thanks. See, now, one thing was important he said about that the average ticket price for people who who decide where to go and and buy a ticket ahead of time is that they pay three times as much.
because it's a way to get people to upgrade. Hey, you know, uh, like if it's a band, they say, oh, the regular ticket is $20, but you pay $50, you get to choose what the encore song is and things like that. See, I mean, all these kind of things. So the ticket price is three times, you know, the regular going rate. So, I mean, that's another neat thing that you can't do on a regular ticket machine. <laughs> so, it, don't, you know, investigate this thing. I mean, uh, you're going to use it someday if you don't use it now.